Hey ladies, it's Deanna from thelipfitgirls.com and today we are going to be working on a little bit of hip stability and shoulder stability. So super important for when you're trying to build strength that you really make sure that those small little muscles are nice and strong. So this workout is going to be perfect for you, but that doesn't mean that it's going to be easy. It's going to be a tough one. Let's get started. First, I just want to say thank you to Body Love Athletica for these acute pants. Um, loving the mesh detail, super soft, super comfortable, and they are going to be helping keep this girl stylish in her YouTube videos. So, thank you to Body Love Athletica. Make sure you check down below to find out where you can get these pants, and also I have a little discount code for you, so check that out below. All right, so let's start down on our mat. So we're going to start on hands and knees. And first we're just gonna reach right arm and left leg out nice and long. Lower it down, good. Reach and down. So arms and legs are reaching opposite. Abs are pulled in nice and tight. So this is like a little warm up to help get those shoulders and hips engaged, good. Let's do one more on each side. And then bring it back down. All right, so I have a three pound weight. You want to grab something that's gonna be a little bit lighter, and we're gonna to come to a full plank position. So you're gonna hold on to that weight with your left hand. Feet are gonna be a little bit wider than normal, and you're gonna bring that arm up and back down. So reach it forward, down. Reach and down. So staying nice and strong. If you need to lower to the knees for this, you can totally do that in a knee plank or on hands and knees. Good. So if you want to challenge that full plank position, abs nice and strong. Four more. Three, two, and one. Good. Shake it out a little bit, roll out that wrist, switch the weight over to the other hand, and then when you're ready, find your position, whether you're on your knees or on your toes. Lift and down. Lift. Stay strong, abs pulled in nice and tight. Good, so these are gonna work those posture muscles as well. Lift, make sure that supporting arm is not totally locked out, just a teeny little bend in that elbow. Three, two, one, good. Whew. Check it out, those are much harder than you think they should be. Nice job, ladies. All right, so put that weight off to the side just for a second. Come back to those hands and knees. And you're gonna reach back for the opposite foot and then switch. So the goal here, this one's a little bit easier, but the goal here is to make sure that those hips stay super steady. So if you were to put a glass of water on your tailbone, it should stay steady and not knock over at all. So you're reaching back for that opposite heel, staying super strong, pulling those low abs in, Tapping that opposite heel. Good, tap, tap, tap. This one's nice and easy after that first exercise, good. Shake out those arms a little bit. We're gonna turn on over onto our back for a second and you know I love my booty bridges, so we're gonna work on a little bit of booty bridges. So you're gonna stay up here in your booty bridge, hold it nice and steady with those hips, bring your right leg up to tabletop, Lower it down and then switch. So you're marching side to side. Again, the goal here is those hips stay super steady. So if you want to put your hands on your hips to make sure that they're not wiggling, that's a really good indicator. So this is working those back hip muscles, those hip extensor muscles, which is what gives us our nice booty and helps control and keep those hips stable. So if you're a runner, you want to make sure that those muscles are nice and strong. Good, let's do one more on each side. And then lower it all the way down. Hug those knees in towards your chest for a second. And then we're gonna roll back over. Grab that weight again. Now, bringing it back up a notch. We're gonna go into a plank downward dog position. So you're gonna be in your plank, reach that arm in front, and then reach for that opposite toe. Good, reach in front opposite toe. 
reach, opposite toe. Good. Reach, opposite toe. Find that plank, hold for a second, and then reach. Plank, and reach. Plank, reach. Pull those abs in nice and tight. Two more. Last one. Good. And then switch. So feet a little wider than normal. In that nice, beautiful plank, you reach and extend back to those toes. Reach in front, extend. Good, reach, plank, and to the toe. Plank, to the toe. Again, make sure the elbows aren't totally locked out. Whew, those shoulders are burning. Good, abs nice and tight. Last one here. Good, and bring it down. Shake out those arms. Let's take a child's pose for a second. Arms reach long in front. Take a few deep breaths. All right, let's come back up. Put that weight off to the side. We're gonna come into a side plank position on the elbows. So even though these work those abs, they're actually really, really great for shoulder stability. So that working shoulder, that bottom one, is getting a ton of stability work. So we're gonna find our side plank position. Hand can go on the hip. You're just gonna tap that hip down and lift. Lower, lift, good. So I know you ladies have done this before, but it's gonna work that bottom hip and that bottom oblique. Three more, two, one. Hold it here, reach that arm up, twist and up. Twist, up. So make it about those obliques and that hip, again, should stay super steady Stacked right on top. Good, stacked up. Three more. Two and one. Whew. Very nice job, ladies. Swing those legs around. Same thing on the other side. Feet are stacked. You're gonna lift it up into that side plank. Hand can come on the hip or reach up to the ceiling. Down and lift. Lift, bottom oblique, bottom hip, lift, lift. Run away ball, kick that off to the side, lift, and lift, lift, good. Three, two, one. And then we're gonna lift back into that side plank position, reach it up, twist, up, twist, up. Hips stay steady, twist, and up, twist. Up, good, five, hip steady, three, two, just that upper body moves, one, Woo. good, let's lay it on back, take a little hip stretch here, cross your right ankle to your left knee, pull that in, take a few deep breaths, Whew. bring it down, switch on over to the other side, and then pull it in, roll yourself up. So you could do that total workout again one or two more times, or you could just do it every, every day or every other day just to build up that shoulder stability and that hip stability. Again, if you do a lot of running or a lot of cycling or cardio, you wanna make sure that those muscles are nice and strong. So remember, check out down below, you can get a discount code for some super cute athletic wear. And then also, I will see you ladies next time. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below or let me know what workout you want to see next. I'll talk to you later.